if you're struggling with some sort of mental health issue, it's like your brain is, imagine a ski slope where it hasn't snowed for five weeks. You have these really defined root ruts and grooves down the mountain. That psychedelic experience is basically like a fresh dump of snow that allows people to start creating new pathways and new connections and kind of reframe their perspective. Those in Kelowna suffering from treatment resistant depression now have a new treatment option, ketamine. We are Kelowna's first ketamine assisted psychotherapy clinic and we take them into an integrative four week program that is basically a holistic approach providing integration uh, sessions, providing psychotherapy, mindfulness, breath work, yoga, meditation, as well as using the medicine of ketamine to sort of um, propel them into a dissociative state that they can then capitalize and use to change their patterns of thought and change their cognition a little bit and hopefully modify their disease process to some degree. The promising thing is that about seven out of 10 patients with treatment resistant depression will respond to ketamine. So that's a huge number. And that's why, you know, we're really passionate about providing this service because we think it actually could make a difference for people who have kind of had been hopeless. The experience will differ between people, but Dr. Sanan says the psychedelic experience that some will feel is key to the treatment. The actual process of what ketamine feels like is different for every person. So some people will just feel relaxed and calm during a ketamine treatment. Some people will have potentially a, a feeling of dissociation, like being out of body or feeling like they're floating above themselves. And some people will have can have mystical experiences where they may um, see things or experience things in a completely different way. Um, pattern or a completely different way than they have before. They can also revisit some of their past traumatic experiences but see them through a different perspective and that's actually um, what we're trying to capitalize on is that experience. So ketamine is just the catalyst to get our brains to sort of become a little bit more plastic or change so that you can um, break or disrupt negative thought process or loops but if you don't capitalize on that change or harness that change then the effect of ketamine will wear away. And so you really have to integrate um, with intention, you have to integrate with psychotherapy to make lasting improvements such that that ketamine effect that you got will actually be sustained. Ketamine's effect actually works within hours. So you do see profound changes in people in a really rapid um, and short period of time. And Theotech's CEO, Fraser Johnston, says the ketamine-assisted therapy could be just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to new mental health treatments. I believe it just a, a medical revolution is happening right now. Mental health problems, the social problems as well that have come along with the pandemic. We're really hoping that this can be a, a catalyst to really help people's change in mental health. Yeah, I think ketamine is just the beginning, to be honest. Hopefully we're doing ketamine at the moment, and then as the regulations evolve, we will be able to basically switch in the molecule with psilocybin or MDMA, but ketamine is what's legal right now yeah. in Health Canada. A four-week program costs $5,600, and Johnston says some insurance companies may cover some of that cost. Those interested in the treatment will require a referral from a doctor. For Castanet News here in Kelowna, I'm Nick Johansson.